Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video we will discuss about sequential animation in our QtQML application and what are the basics property and what is the working principle of our sequential animation and how we can implement or use the sequential animation in our QtQML application. So what is a sequential animation? In simple term we can say a sequential animation will run or execute each and every animation one by one. For example, if you define your three animations in your sequential animation group. So sequential animation will execute each and every animation one by one. So let's start and implement our basic simple code. So let's create a one rectangle. Okay. So where we perform the animation. So here let's set the ID. Okay. So let's set the uh, my rect. Okay. So let's set the basics property width and height. So width is 200 and height is also 200. Okay. Also let's set the color. Okay. So let's define the red color. Okay. Now let's create the sequential animation. Okay. So here we write the uh, sequential animation. Okay. So also here we have to define the ID property. So my sequential animation. Okay. So running property is true when we apply run the application though it by default run and now let's set the loops. Okay. So here we set the animation dot infinite. So our sequential animation run infinite format. Okay. So now let's here use the number animation. Okay. So let's use the number animation and set the one target. Okay. So where we have to perform that number animation. So let's use the my rect. So here we use a my rect uh, object to uh, on the to perform the number animation. Okay. So so use the property. So here we have to define the which property we use. So let's use the width property. Okay. So what is the default value or starting value? So starting value is 200 and let's set it 300. Okay. So width is increased by 200 to 300. Okay. So duration also we can set here 2000. Okay. Also you can set the async type. So let's set the in out cubic in out quad. Okay. So this is the first animation. Okay. So let's create the second one in animation. Also, we use the same code and here we apply the height property, use the height property. So here same is it, we change the our my rect uh, width from 200 to 300, okay. So now let's run the application and check it. So you can see the first of all width in increase and then after height so you can see the width is increased and then after the height okay now let's uh, add one two more animation so simply just copy this line of code and let's change the 300 to 200 okay also same as it for height so here change the value in 200 okay so now let's run the application and check it. So you can see the, the first animation is a width property. Then we increase the height. Then we decrease the width. And then after the decrease the height. So you can see the four animation is uh, every animation will run and or execute one by one. Okay. So this is the uh, working principle of our sequential animation which is a uh, each and every animation will or uh, run or execute one by one so you can use the any other properties for it height width or x or y any any, any kind of property here so this is the sequential animation or how we can implement this sequential animation in our code so please drop your comment if you have any questions about sequential animation or how we can use in our QtQML application and please like this video and share this video with your friend and subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video. Thank you.